Greetings. I hope that everyone is having a good week thus far. So just a little bit of cruise news, which I'm not talking about cruising that much in videos anymore because, well, Rona, there is no cruising. But, and especially here in the United States, and not only is there not cruising here in the United States, we don't even know when cruising will resume here in the United States. I mean, they have to do these test runs and, and the CDC haven't even really giving them a outline uh, uh, or the regulation or whatever it is they need that they can go ahead and start um, sending these ships out on these test crews that that's required before they can uh, start allowing passengers on for actual cruising. So with none of that being in place and the CDC is talk, speaking in circles concerning when the United States can start back cruising, then people are looking at other countries. Okay, so what's going on in Europe? Um, river river cruising uh, was supposed to start back. It's been a little delay, so they're kind of targeting May. A river cruising is uh, a much smaller vessel with less people on it, but and you're cruising mainly in, as it says, rivers. Um, but then there's going to be cruising in Mexico, Bahamas, and Bermuda. Um, they're targeting June date to start back, but what are people upset about? Why are they talking about boycotting Royal Caribbean? They're saying they don't want to want the experimental gene therapy. What's the experimental gene therapy? Well, some Royal Caribbean uh, customers are now calling for a boycott on the company on Twitter, as noted by the uh, Daily Mail, saying that the cruise line is forcing them to get the COVID vaccine. That's what they're calling the experimental gene therapy, the COVID vaccine, to board the ships. Last week, Royal Caribbean said it will require all passengers and crew members 18 and older to be fully vaccinated to board its upcoming cruise to uh, cruises to the Bahamas and Mexico. As I said before, um, Royal Caribbean um, and maybe Carnival. They're going to start cruising out of Bahamas port, Mexico port. And now I just heard they added uh, Bermuda. Bermuda. That's, I pronounced that right. Yeah. Um, and people were getting excited about that. People here in the United States because they say, okay, I'll take a flight to the Bahamas or I'll take a flight or drive to Mexico and, and take a cruise from there. Then they get hit with this, that the vaccine that's going to be required to even do that. Like, uh, um, guests under age 18 will be required to provide a negative COVID test result. So you'll need to, which, you know, of course, everybody's okay with that, that you have to take the COVID test before and get a negative uh, test before you get on the ship. I think it's 72 hours before boarding. Um, but now they're throwing in the, the vaccine. Now, some people are okay with the vaccine, have already taken the vaccine, but you still have a good amount of people who are against it. Don't trust it. They said it's too soon. Uh, um, it wasn't tested enough. Several users of the social media platform have slammed the cruise line for requiring a shot. One upset customer wrote that they did not want the experimental gene therapy that's mandata mandatory to step aboard their ships. And this is a tweet from Dr. Simon Gold. Wow, she says, Royal at Royal Caribbean. Cruises now requiring you to get a experimental vaccine to book a cruise with them. I will be boycotting the company instead. Who else is with me? And quite a few people are with them. I uh, cruise through a few social media um cruise groups today to kind of see what people um are saying and usually in these cruise groups you have people who like myself love cruising the avid cruisers they 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 wake up thinking about cruising and go to sleep to think about cruising and um you have some of them to say well i'm okay with the vaccine you know um but you have a good bit of them saying are pretty up they're pretty upset and saying well i'm i like royal i prefer royal but i'm willing to go over to one of the other um uh, cruise lines to cruise if Royal's going to re require the vaccine, right? Well, here's the problem with that. Cru most of the major cruise lines are in this group called CLIA. And I think they call it CLIA. And what CLIA is, stands for is Cruise Line International Association. It's like a 
a group or a club or a, um, I can't think of the word, a union of cruise lines uh, where they come together and they decide, you know, some regulations and some things that they're going to do. So normally when one cruise line decides something major, the other cruise lines follow. So if Royal goes through with requiring the vaccination, guess what? Probably Carnival will, Norwegian will, um, Disney and Princess will. Um, and I can't, I know I'm leaving out a, a, a lot of them because I can't remember the other name, the major ones names, but um, so that is what is happening in cruise news. Like I said, it's not a whole lot of cruise news other than people being upset with the, the CDC dragging their foot on, you know, giving the cruise line some type of outline or some type of date when they can not only tell their customers, people who are ready to cruise, but also tell their stockholders, this is when we're going to resume. Um, there's not much news going on, and that's why I'm not doing a whole lot of videos on cruising. But you best believe as soon as they start those dates or as soon as the uh, those uh, cruise the cruises begin again in Bahamas and Mexico, like I said, a lot of people from the United States are planning and is willing to go um, to fly to those countries to, to um, resume cruising. Um, I will probably talk about it more then because that is what is going to be our example here in the United States, seeing how it goes in those countries um, to determine, uh, I guess, how quickly we can get back to cruising here, cruising from ports here in the United States. So this is Miss Cruz. Please drop down in the comments. Let me know if what you think about that. You know, is it is it unfair that they requiring people to take the vaccine to um, go on cruise? Do you think it's a good idea uh, that will make the cruise more safe? I mean, you're talking about an environment where uh, if there's one or two people that have COVID, as we've seen when COVID first started, or we first started noticing it in February and March on cruise ships, one or two people uh, catch it, and then you have a whole ship that's quarantined and, and they won't allow people off the ship. So, um, you know, is that the best thing to do? Um, what do you think? Anyway, this is Miss Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe.